So this is a very simple example of a maximal flow model and I'm going to use it to illustrate how you would reason through this without using Excel. So let's just say these are um, bits flowing across a network, um, computer network from say this is San Francisco and this is Salt Lake City. And let's just assume that there's just two points that they have to hit and then move on to the next to the final node. So um, you can go from A to B and to D, or from B to C, or from C to D, whatever. You'll notice that exiting from point A, you can have 10 going from A to point B, and 2 going from A to C. So um, you know that the maximum that can come out of A here is 12. So let's just say that we have here, let's use a different color. So we've got 12 coming out of point A. 10 coming up here to point B. Well, point B, the only ways you can get from point B to point D are either going through C and then through D or just directly to D. Um, so we can have a maximum of 10 coming into B and um, then you can have five leaving one, uh, leaving from point B to point D and another five leaving from point B to point C. So let's just say, well, we have 10 coming in and 10 can go out. So let's just look at that and say, okay, well, that's fine. Let's just put, so we know these 10 can get past here, um, at least to exit out here. And we have two that can come from point A to point C. So we have five coming in to point A from point uh, from to point C from point B and two coming into point C from point A and seven total five plus two can exit so that's seven over here can exit so if you look at this all twelve sorry can exit and go from point C to point D so if you look at this all twelve that we started with can then exit over here um, because there is space and that is the maximal flow that can flow out of flow across this network um, and I'll show you how to solve that in the next video using Excel